Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Brown, and I want to share with you how chiropractic found me and how I found Tazewell, Virginia. Um, back in the late 90s, mid-90s, uh, between undergrad and me actually going to chiropractic school, I was living out in Utah at a ski resort, working at a ski resort, trying to figure out exactly what I was going to do with the rest of my life. And although I was having a great time, I knew that there was a whole lot more to who I was meant to be. So um, as I was looking for um, my career, my, my passion, um, I began talking with my brother and sister-in-law who were recent graduates of chiropractic school and practicing chiropractic here in uh, Virginia. And that led to me visiting with them and following them and shadowing them and really watching how they were transforming lives and having a great time and being really fulfilled in being able to help other people experience better health and well-being. So that began my journey of really identifying chiropractic as what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Um, but um, as I began to seriously consider it, what really happened was I began to get a lot of self-doubt and fear. Fear that maybe I wasn't cut out to be a chiropractor, I didn't have what it takes and that I could possibly fail. Fail getting through school or maybe even fail as a chiropractor. And um, that was something that took a lot for me to get over. Um, but I did ultimately take the step and found myself in Davenport, Iowa. And um, while I was in school, I was all in. Um, I learned everything I could get my hands on and I focused nearly, if not all of my time into my studies. And the problem with that was that um, I had a serious uh, girlfriend at the time who I did not give enough attention to. And that led to us parting ways. And um, if you go back to when I was in Utah, I loved it there. And part of my goal of going to chiropractic school is so that I could go back to Utah and really have the life that I wanted um, with the career that I wanted. Um, so back to what I was saying, that M Melissa was now in Virginia, and I'm in Iowa, and as I'm ready to graduate, um, which direction do I go? So the struggle was, the initial plan was I was going to go back out west, but my heart took me to the east. But the hiccup in that was that when I got here into Virginia, and I came to Tazewell, Virginia, because it was the closest town where I could get a job as a chiropractor to where she was in Withfield, Virginia. Um, and as, as quick as I got back here, actually a few weeks before I got back here, she moved to Raleigh. So you can see that my, my plan didn't exactly um, fall together. So here I am in Virginia, and she's gone to Raleigh, and the whole reason that I'm here is to uh, rekindle the relationship that I had with her in hopes of making a future with her. Um, and it gets a little, wor little deeper, I should say, in that she's actually engaged. So she's engaged and in Virginia, and weeks later, uh, I go up to where uh, I'm from in New York and go to a friend's wedding, and as fate has it, she's at the wedding, and I laid it all on the line. Um, I, I definitely told her exactly how I felt, and man, I put it out there. It was either gonna, it was gonna work or it wasn't gonna work, but I didn't leave anything behind, and thank God it worked. So um, now we're here in Virginia, but before that, uh, you know, what I learned or what I realized was that, um, what I've learned and realized in practice, and that's that um, people don't care how much you know until they first know how much you care. When I was in school, I spent so much time focused on learning, 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 and not caring, caring, caring. And I think I did the same thing early on in my practice. I mean, it wasn't that I didn't care, but I just wanted to fill people with information. But the reality is, is that, um, you know, we move and we act based on emotion. And um, I think that um, over these past 20 years that I've been in practice and blessed to be in Tazewell and all things happen for a reason, I think I'm here for a reason, and that's to share our brand of wellness with our community. Um, it, it, it couldn't have been a better ride so far. I mean, there's certainly bumps along the way, but we've got this brand of <clears throat> chiropractic that, that now is really teaching people about how health is something that, that comes from you and not something that happens to you. And, and um, I think we're doing a, a better and better job all the time of helping people express the best health that they were designed to have. And now here we are today, and we've taken this same message into our communities now where we're not just in Tazewell, we're in Richlands and we're now in Abingdon. And we're bringing this message of hope and health and well-being through through a foundation of an optimally functioning nervous system to our neighboring communities as well. 
So this transformation that I've gone through over these, these last several years has been about um, really um, putting, being all in, being all in with our, with our communities and certainly with our practice members and, and helping them to reach their true health potential by l literally partnering, partnering up with them. And uh, you know, they, they talk about like a doctor-patient relationship. Well, when, when we come together, there's really no doctor-patient. We're a team and we work together um, so that we can help you, not just with your health challenges, but with your health goals. So I think the transformation that I've gone through over these last 20 years is really about um, putting it out there and letting you know how much we care and then taking our knowledge so that we can help you live the best health possible or the best life possible. So I'm Dr. Chris Brown. I appreciate you watching this and uh, that's how chiropractic found me and I was blessed to find Southwest Virginia.